Well, my uh, interest is in developing the use of radiotherapy in the treatment of patients with bladder cancer, and it builds on the BC2001 trial, which showed the vast majority of patients who have radiotherapy can be controlled with, with treatment. But also, we are, we are aware that the old ways of doing radiotherapy were technically challenged by the movement of the bladder. So uh, our work is focused on improving the technology along with other colleagues, the technical development of bladder radiotherapy using online imaging. And uh, we're making great strides in terms of improving the technical quality of the radiotherapy we deliver. Uh, in our poster here, uh, we're reporting the clinical outcomes of our first series of patients in quite an elderly group of patients with an average age of 86, having six fractions a week, and showing that using image-guided uh, hyperfractionated radiotherapy we can obtain local control in around 90% of those patients, with uh, two-thirds of patients alive a year, which, given the elderly and sick group of patients, I think is a very good result. And overall, the toxicity rate is very low. Um, we're also developing techniques in uh, patients with having standard radical radiotherapy. Uh, we're completing a dose escalation study, and using these image-guided techniques to boost the tumour, we've actually uh, able to take the dose up to 70 gray, rather than standard 60 to 64 gray, without excessive toxicity. And uh, pleased to say that's now going to develop into a randomized trial within the UK and Australia, New Zealand, uh, which should start later this summer. Um, at this meeting, there's a number of studies looking at different ways of using adaptive radiotherapy, all of which are showing that you can improve your target coverage significantly using these modern techniques and reduce the target volume that you have to administer which we expect will have a significant effect in reducing toxicity and also controlling the cancer. Oh, it's been a very good meeting. There's lots of exciting developments in radiotherapy, which I think will take things a further step forward. From a bladder perspective, uh, the developments in MR imaging, MR planning, MR treatment delivery is very exciting. There's also all the work developing on planary optimization on the fly. Uh, to actually deliver the optimum plan each day. And when you deal with a cancer uh, target that can vary in shape and position from day to day, that sort of approach holds a great promise to have a further significant development in the quality of work that we can do.